The appeal to tradition is one of the most blatantly fallacious arguments. It usually takes the form of a statement like, things have always been this way, so that's how they should be. In other words, if you do something for long enough, that makes it right. Superficially, this can be very compelling to people who don't think. But anyone capable of understanding that longevity does not equate to validity can easily recognize what an empty argument this is. Long-held traditions can indeed be wrong, and they can even contradict each other. Age is simply not a relevant factor here. But beyond its most obvious flaws, there are a couple more aspects of the appeal to tradition which make it an especially bad argument. While duration alone does not indicate whether a given practice or belief should be maintained, the implication is is that there are good reasons for it to be maintained. But if such reasons exist and are valid, then these reasons would serve as an adequate justification, and there would be no need to appeal to tradition. If there are valid reasons behind a certain practice, then it should never be necessary to resort to arguing from tradition. It is only resorted to when there are no valid reasons to continue a tradition. In some cases, the appeal to tradition may even function in a circular manner, in that the tradition being appealed to has only persisted due to repeated appeals to tradition. For example, when discussing everyone's favorite issue, gay marriage, Karl Rove once said, what's the compelling reason to throw out 5,000 years of understanding the institution of marriage as between a man and a woman? Obviously, men marrying men and women marrying women wouldn't actually pose an obstacle to men marrying women. Nothing would be changed in that regard. But hypothetically, let's suppose everyone gets together and says, you know, I think Karl Rove has a really good point about that. And collectively, we all decide that another 5,000 years of institutional homophobia is just the thing we need. After all, it's worked so well before. Fast forward 5,000 years later, and we're quite predictably still trying to resolve this issue. At which point, a distant relative of Karl Rove comes along and says, why do we need to change anything? Marriage has been between a man and a woman for 10,000 years. Now, why is that? Were there any actual reasons for reserving marriage as a heterosexual privilege? Well, no. It was only because people found tradition appealing. And now, the tradition being appealed to is specifically the result of an appeal to tradition. The only reason it's even a tradition is because of appeals to tradition. In this way, the appeal to tradition can become self-reliant and self-perpetuating. The intent of an appeal to tradition is to continue that tradition. Yet the continuation of that tradition is exactly what this appeal relies on. An argument that depends on its own application is just unsound. If there are any valid reasons for a tradition, then the argument renders itself unnecessary. But if it is necessary, this concedes that there are no such reasons, and it is therefore unjustified. Ultimately, the appeal to tradition isn't even an argument. It's an excuse for not having one.